Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography, and in this episode we are going to take a look at the curves function on Photomate R2. Now we will use the curves function to adjust the contrast and the color in our image, as well as play around with the new saturation curves to see how we can become really creative with our pictures. Now for this I'll be using the Nexus 7 running Android 4.4.2. Okay, now the first image that we will be working on is this image of a sunset. Now you'll notice that the colors on the sand doesn't really look that great because the image is overexposed. Now I am in Photomate R2's develop module and you can see right here there is the curves icon. So I'm going to choose the curves icon and I'm going to get this screen right here. Now at the top you will see a bunch of icons. The first one is a little dustbin. So if you don't like the adjustment you've made you can just click on that and that will delete your adjustments to this curve screen. Then you've got the white circle. Now the white circle means you're editing all the channels together, the red, green and the blue channels. And then you can see there's a red option. If I choose that, you will see it turns red. There's also green and blue. I will explain that in a few moments. And then a very new cool feature called the saturation curves. So let's first start with the white circle. Now, if you haven't used curves before, it might be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. Now, if you look at this line, if I click on the line and I just drag it upwards, you're going to see the image will overexpose. If I drag it downwards, you will see the image will start to underexpose. So move it up, it will go lighter or brighter. Move it down and it will become darker. If you don't like this point you've created, you can just press on it again and just move it out of the curves dialog and you'll see it will take it away. Now if I for instance make this curve line flatter, I say move this one up to there and then take this one and move it to there. You can see the line is now much flatter and also we've lost the contrast in the image. If I make this line more steeper, so if I take it up to say or take it down to say there and then take this one up to there you'll see the line isn't as flat anymore but now the image really has a lot of contrast now i'm going to reset what i've done by just going to the dustbin pressing on that will delete the editing that we've done to it so how do you start to work with the curves adjustment now a very nice starting point is to create what is called a s curve so if i select this point right and i drag it down that will obviously make the image go a little bit darker and i choose the point right there on the line and I just move it up. Then you can see the image has now got a nice curve to it. I can now turn the curves off, very nice with Photomate. When I turn the curves off and I go to the before and after, you can see there's the options for the before and after. You can already see a very big difference between the original and what we've created with curves. When I go back to curves, very awesome, it remembers what you have done. So if I now want to fine tune this, I can play around with the settings and make it like that more darker. By moving this upward, I'm going to create more contrast and you can see the image already looks a lot better. If I take the curves away and I go to the before and after, just look at that big difference. I can also choose this icon and you can see it from that angle. Already much better. Now you'll remember in the beginning I said the three colors at the top. If you choose red, you've got this red line. Now this, you must not just think of as a red channel, you must also think of it as a red cyan channel. And how that works is if I take this line and I drag it to the top like that, we are gonna have more red in the image. If I drag it down like that, we are gonna have more cyan in the image. I'm just gonna reset it by moving the point outside. If I go to the green and I move it to the top, you're going to see we have more green. If I move it down, we have more magenta. I'm going to move it out, go to the blue. If I move it up, we're going to have more blue. And if I move it down, we're going to have more yellow. Now this is where we can really start to become creative and add some extra color in there to make the image look better. So if I find that I maybe want a little bit of yellow in there, I might go to say there and let's look at the result. Okay, this is basically what we started with. If I drag it down slightly like that, you'll see we're getting a little bit of extra yellow color in there. Now, I wonder what will happen if we add a little bit of red. So I'm going to go to the red channel, and then I'm going to increase the reds, maybe like that. And now you can see there's a more reddish cast in, and I think it looks pretty cool. Now, if you want to see all the curves that you've adjusted, you just go back to the white point or the white circle there. And this is very cool. Now you can see exactly where the red has gone or where you've changed it. You can see the blue as well. 
and you can now continue to work on this white line with the two points. You can even add in more points if you want to by, for instance, just clicking right there. I can move that point up and down and I can even continue to further adjust it. If you do a very weird adjustment, like say something like this, you're going to notice that the image will start to look very weird. If that happens, just click on it and just drag it out and you'll see the image will come back to normal. I can now play around with it maybe further, maybe make it a little darker there, maybe change it a little bit softer, make it a little bit softer there by dropping this point so it's not so contrasty. And I think that looks pretty cool. If I turn the curves off, and like I said, if you turn it back on, you can see everything you've done, super cool. If I turn the curves off and we look at our before and after, just look at that. Isn't this just a big improvement when you look at this? And just look how simple it was. So the next time you've got an image and you're just not happy with it, go to the curves and then start by creating first an S curve and then just playing around moving the sliders to see exactly how the shadows and the highlights in the image are reacting to this and then just fine tune it until you get the image the way you want it. Now I'm going to turn the curves off here and we're going to go to this image of a pug with uh, like an Hawaiian theme around the neck as you can see with the thing that I put there. Doesn't she just have the cutest face? So when I go to curves you can see that at the end, like I said earlier in the video, there is a saturation curves. If you choose the saturation curves, you'll notice between using the white curves, where you could, we're doing all the channels, just look at the curves we've got there, or the histogram that we've got there, and then look at the histogram for the saturation curves. It's really a big difference. Now, how this works is, on this side of the curves, this is the section of the image where there is parts where there's no not really that much saturated colors. So if you look at the pug itself, it's really not that saturated. And if you look at the very subtle blue background, it's also not very saturated. So that, that's this section right here. This section is where all the, where, where basically the, the colors are that's more saturated to this side of the curves. So if I take this white, line, white point here at the top and I drag it down, you see that the image will become entirely desaturated. It's a grayscale. And it's also going to happen when I drag this line all the way to here. We've also got a grayscale. And when I take the line and I start to drag it just over this section right here to maybe say there, you're going to see that the pug is now desaturated and the background, but not really this Hawaiian theme. I lost a little bit of color there, so I think I'm going to drag it just a little bit back to maybe there. So I'm getting a little bit more color in this. It's almost like a purplish, magenta type of color there at the top. So now I've got that color back. But I actually want to have the pug in black and white. So I think I'm just going to drag it a little bit more. I don't really care if I'm going to lose those colors. But now I've got a black and white pug with the very nice colors around it. Now from here on out, I can play around with these colors. For instance, if I drag this point down, you're going to see that the colors will become very desaturated. If I drag it up, the colors will become more saturated. If I drag it very far, you're going to see it's going to go to the point where it's oversaturated. If I go like there, it's totally uh, uh, oversaturated. So now I can use this point and I can even create more points, like for instance doing that, and I can play around with the um, saturation on the Hawaiian theme behind the pug. So this is really fun if you're maybe taking some artsy flower photos and something and you want to play around with the colors a little, you can desaturate certain parts and then leave the color in the other parts by just using this saturation curve. And if you don't like what you've done, just, just delete it and just start from the beginning again. Lots of fun. And if you close the curve, remember when you open it back up, everything is there. If I go back to the saturation curve, you can see all the work you've done. I hope you have enjoyed this look at the curves function on Photomate R2. If you would like to see more information on Photomate or more videos like these, please visit the Photomate website. Now that's all from my side and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.